Hello, good morning. My name is Lana and I'm one of the doctors working in A&E today. Hi. Hi, very nice to meet you. Can I just confirm your um, name? It's Rebecca Appleton. Is it okay for me to call you Rebecca? Yeah, that's fine. Nice to meet you. Um, and can I um, ask who you've brought with you today? Oh, this is Billy. Billy. And how old is Billy? He's two. He's two. Thank you so much for sharing that information with me. Um, so today I just wanted to have a chat with you about why you've come in to see us, um, answer any questions that you have, and then come up with a plan at the end. Okay. How does that sound? Yeah. Perfect. So can you tell me a little bit about what's brought you into hospital today? Um, so I, I've called an ambulance because Billy was having like like a fit, like a, a seizure. Okay. And I, didn't, I, didn't, I really didn't know what to do. Um, so, yeah, I, I, basically I was just, I put him to bed and then I heard, um, like a bang mm -hmm. and then I, I went into his room and he was just shaking okay. and I, I didn't know what to do. Okay. Um, so I called the ambulance and, and now I'm here. Okay. Thank you for sharing that with me and I'm, I'm sorry that you had to experience that. Um, I'm sure it must have been quite scary for you. Um, and well done for calling the ambulance, you did the right thing. Um, so has anyone spoken to you about why um, Billy is going to be admitted and why he's in hospital and what happened? No. No. Okay, so I wanted to go through that with you today. Um, but before that, can I just check what um, you think might be happening? Do you have any particular ideas about why um, Billy had this seizure? I really don't know. I thought it might sound silly, but I, th I thought maybe it was a, he had a brain tumor or something. Okay, that's not silly at all. Um, thank you for sharing that with me. Um, so we'll definitely go into why we think it's not a brain tumor um, and what we think it is. Um, is there anything that you're particularly concerned about with Billy? Just what's happened, really. Okay. Um, and. During your time here, is there anything that you particularly expected to happen? Happen? Any expectations that you had? I thought maybe um, he could have like a scan or something. Okay. Just to, 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 I don't know, just to make sure there's not nothing there. Okay. Not to worry. So we'll talk about um, any investigations and things that we'll do later as well. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to discuss today about what we think Billy um, is managing. Mm -hmm. So have you ever heard of anything called a febrile convulsion? No. Okay, so a febrile convulsion is um, very common um, and it's something we see in children Billy's age, um, mainly between six months and five years old. Okay. Um, and it is a seizure that we see and it's typically brought on by a fever. Um, and children being a little bit unwell because of a fever. Oh, okay. Um, so what happens is as children are younger and their brains are a little bit more immature, um, they struggle a little bit to adjust to high temperatures um, and that manifests as a seizure. Okay. So that's um, what we think is going on with Billy. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, he hasn't been well, so he's had a sore throat in a high temperature so okay. that, that makes sense yeah yeah so um usually with a febrile convulsion it is brought on by a fever can i ask how high his fever was i think i measured it at 39 okay um so that tells us that it is likely that it was a fever that caused the febrile convulsion okay. um there are a few other things that we know um that febrile convulsions typically present with so for example the seizure is usually less than 15 minutes um how long was um, billy's seizure i think it was about five minutes okay yeah fine um so that tells us again that it's likely to be a febrile convulsion okay. we also know with febrile convulsions that children tend to recover quite quickly mm. Um, like within an hour or so, um, and they tend to come back to their usual self. Um, did you find that was the case with Billy? Yeah, I mean, it, it stopped once the ambulance arrived and he seems to be better in himself now. Good, I'm glad. Um, so Billy is currently being admitted with us, um, and in terms of moving forward, we just want to observe him for a, a few um, more hours just to make sure that he's well with himself and goes back to his usual self. Mm. Um, is there any other questions that you had or anything that you were concerned about? Have I done, did I do something wrong? Like I tried to give him some paracetamol but he just wouldn't take it. Yeah mm. so that's a valid question to ask. Um, you didn't do anything wrong, in fact you did all the right things. You called the ambulance and you um, 
identified that he was unwell. Um, so as I said, febrile convulsions are very common in children. Um, and you did all the right things by offering him paracetamol in terms of trying to keep the fever down and bringing him into hospital after he had the, um, the seizure. So I don't want you to worry about um, anything that you did. You did nothing wrong and you did all the right things. So um, will you be giving him any treatments while he's here? Um, so while Billy is with us, we will definitely be um, continuing to observe him closely. So taking his temperature, heart rate, um, blood pressure, um, and just making sure he's genuinely well. Mm -hmm. We typically try to treat febrile convulsions by preventing the fever in the first place. So by using things like paracetamol and ibuprofen to bring down the fever. I just wanted to also touch on um, your um, comment about having a scan. Um, so as we know that uh, Billy did have a febrile convulsion, we don't typically go on to scan children yeah. um, when we're pretty sure that it is a febrile convulsion. Um, so moving forward, we'll just admit him to observe him for a, um, a few hours and then hopefully send you home um, with some safety net and advice. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Um, so just to summarise, we had a chat today about Billy, um, who's your two-year-old son, who has been unwell with a sore throat and some fevers, and today had a febrile convulsion um, and was brought into hospital. And today we went through his diagnosis of a febrile convulsion um, and a management plan moving forward. Yeah. Awesome. Do you have any questions? Um... No, nothing I can think of. Okay. Um, I will leave you some information with leaflets um, after we talk today. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Sure. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. No problem. Thank you.